What's going on YouTube? My name's Nate and welcome for the first time to my channel. I wanted to introduce myself to you guys. I am a 300 pound fat dude who lives in West Virginia. I wanted to make this vlog because I work from home. I live out in the country. I don't have a ton of friends. Who'd have thunk it? A bald fat guy with no friends? What? I'm no Dr. Phil. You're an idiot! The reason I'm making this vlog is I live out in the middle of nowhere. Well, not the middle of nowhere. I live slightly off to the left of the middle of nowhere. I'm out in a very rural area. We don't have a ton to do up here. But so I wanted to make a vlog, document my life, because there are quite a few really cool things that happen for me. I own about an acre and a half. No big accomplishment there. I have a decent little garden behind me. I'm proud of that accomplishment. I have chickens, a liver. Meow mix, meow mix, please deliver. Okay, jokes aside, I do have a few things going for me in life. So I figured I'd bring you guys along on my life journey. That way if anything special happens, I can prove it. What I'm doing right now is I live right next door to a farm. Specifically, it's a cattle farm. And there's this little white and black dog. Homeboy loves coming up to my yard. And the fact that I have chickens was not a joke. Don't know if you could see him in the frame, but I really do have chickens. I've got about 11. And he's been up on the property a couple times harassing them. I let my chickens free range. Nobody in the neighborhood complains about them. So I get healthier eggs. They get fertilizer for free. So right now it kind of works out. But this is a strange dog. It's a little dog I don't know. It's not been trained how to behave around my girls. My dog has, and you guys will meet him at some point. And so I walk outside and I see this dog. And I'm like, what is going on? He's hiding just right over here in the weeds. Just barely out enough for me to see its face. And I had my dog with me. And he almost chased it. And so I'm over here on the, the farm side of the property, my neighbor's property. And so because my girl's free range, I don't always have a real time count on how many are alive. Living out in rural West Virginia, it's not uncommon for me to lose a chicken to natural predators in the area. So I came out to check on him and to film this. And I see the dog there, so I walked over and I needed to check to see if it got one of my girls. Because I recently lost my favorite chicken. And she was an egg layer, so, you know, she gave me food. But, don't know what happened to her. I've still got five, plus another six that'll be laying in a few more months. So I'm not super worried, but I plan to, here in the next month actually, start selling my excess eggs for money. Like I've literally got a registered business for me to sell eggs. Long term, I'm gonna expand and probably go into non, well, I don't wanna say non-perishable because <laughs> If you grow it, it's perishable. But I want to get into the business of selling produce that's got a relatively good shelf life. Um, it's not the way to explain it. I really wanna go into business long-term and selling the produce I produce. Mostly because I know where my food came from. That's part of why I have a garden. I like to know where my food comes from. That was actually one of the motivating factors for me to buy my property and have a have some chickens and a garden. I want to know where my food come from. What you know on that topic, I'm originally from West Virginia. Like this is my home state. I moved to Arizona when I was like 10 years old. And I stayed there up until I was 30, 31, just a couple years ago. My mom died in February of 2019. And I realized my dad's still alive and I want to spend some time with him because they were divorced. I didn't really know him. I mean, I knew him not as well as I knew my mom because I was around my mom. 
So as I say, shoot, I buy a house, moved out here, and I've been here almost two years. I'm pretty happy. Uh, I got my fiance who lives with me. That's a good relationship most of the time. So who knows? But that was that was a nice little bit of excitement thinking that I had a dog attacker. Yay! So I won't make you guys sit here and stare at my beautiful face for very much longer. I have to go in and do adult things like clean the house, maybe make dinner. I haven't made a decision on that. But in the meantime, guys, thanks for hanging out for my first video. Hit the like button, share it, subscribe it, and you'll see me a few times a week. Until next time.